This is a 2003 uh, Newmar Dutch Star Freightliner chassis with the uh, 31, um, I think it's 26E uh, Caterpillar engine. And in that engine, it has a uh, small pipe that goes between the Huey pump and the head. And uh, mine's loose. So with that said, this is the, uh, the head access uh, to the engine from the back and uh, I'm putting a kit in from IFS and the first step I had went through was to remove the air cleaner that big large hole right there is where the air cleaner was so I could access this area better the other thing I've done is put a rag over top of the um, power steering reservoir tank we actually power steering and cooling fan and I have a, this light that I use to see what I've got to see. The uh, tube that's failed, actually my tube I think is loose, it's only loose, is here. I've disconnected this end, that's a mirror I used so I can see what's going on. Um, but this end of the tube connects to the engine roughly right in here. Right, we see the shiny, the shiny piece right there. That's uh, an IFS kit to adapt the engine block to the their hose. And I have yet to remove this from the pump. And access to the pump is very hard. And it's down here. I have what's that small. Um, there's a valve. I mean. Uh, powered solenoid valve in the back of the pump I've got to remove to remove it you have to take the nut off the back of it and it slides forwards to allow access to a wrench to be put on this end to screw it out of the back of the pump over here actually so that's my next step is to remove that so I can get to the to the uh, bolt or the, the fitting that this here connects to my hose doesn't appear to have failed it just seems like it's loose on the back of my pump I'm not sure um, why, but I know it leaks, and it leaks underneath the camper. And rather than just replacing the hose with another, I'm going to put the what's called the IFS kit. Um, it's a filter system to prevent, in case the Huey pump were to fail, uh, it would filter any metal particles from entering the head and ruining the injectors. This engine only has about 50,000 miles on it. There's no sense in taking a chance on that. All right. And we'll start, I'll start with another video here in a second. And I'm about 290 pounds and uh, it's tough to get into that thing right there. Uh, fit up inside that, where that engine's at. This is a view. This here this is the pressure regulating valve it takes uh, that electronically changes the pressure or the outlet of the Huey pump from what I've read and it act this is a connector for it and I've already pulled off a little end cap and I've got to get this removed from the pump and the line that I'm got to replace is here and it's in the way of removing this I don't think I can get it past it oh joy and I need to remove this to access the nut that's holding this to the pump so I thought I'd show this video in the interim that's about a 200 300 valve right here so i don't want to booger that up so that's where i'm at right now okay i got the uh the the valve out the um pressure control i forgot exactly what it's called it's uh i put it in here for now yeah i got this out of the back of the pump uh, the saw this of course this goes to the left part goes into the pump and then there's a solenoid, and there's a collar, and there's a little nut. 
well this where it screws in is a very very thin place for a wrench to rest so you have to get the solenoid out of the way in order to get a wrench on that fun part was getting a wrench the wrench is greater than one inch i'm not sure what it is all i know is after much grinding and filing on a one inch uh, crow's foot i got it to fit and it fit of course that here and I put a you know ratchet on it and able to break it loose. It wasn't horribly tight, but if you can't get to it, you can't get to it. So I got that on there and uh, broke this loose, pulled this out of the pump. Now I should have access to the uh, access to the uh, part I need to get to on a pump for the other end of that line. Issue I got here is, of course, I can't see nothing because, but that's the beauty of using a video camera. I can replay this myself. And look, and hopefully see what it looks like down here. Ah, oh, goodness, where is it at? There she is, right there. That's where my leak is, where that connects to the back of the pump. And I'm going to be putting a new line, a new elbow in place. And then, of course, I'll screw the pressure valve back into the back of the pump. But this is what my next step is to get this loose. And I'm going to look at this video to see what i got to do to get that. This is where my leak is. The line itself isn't leaking, the hydraulic line. It's leaking wherever it connects that there. And I'll find out that once I get it out of the, out of the car, out of the, I'm going to move it from here. Okay, here is where I'm at now. I finally got this out of the pump. This uh, this is the cat line, uh, high pressure line. And there's the fitting that goes into the back of the pump. I forgot the name of it, it's got an O-ring on it. And my leak is here, where this, this is where it was leaking, is where this, this is allowed to flex on here. Although, the line looks a little ugly right here where it's starting to pop loose, uh, the hydraulic line. Uh, this carries about 3,000 PSI from what I understand. But this is where the leak is. The uh, IFS kit comes with an adapter that goes from here and it goes up. So their line connects straight to it, I think, with a JIC connection. Uh, but regardless, uh, now I'm going to go look in the kit and get the part and put it on the back of the pump and uh, start putting this back together.